news. Uh, well, this morning the NSPCC is launching a TV campaign and it's called Don't Wait Until You're Certain. It's urging people, as it says, to act on suspicions. We're joined now by John Cameron from the NSPCC and parenting expert Liz Fraser. Morning to both of you. Um, John, I mean, the, if you think about you, what you are looking for when you think a child is being abused, it's not a science. And so you can understand why people are reticent to get involved straight away. Absolutely. And, and from the Jimmy Savile affair, we know that there were a number of people who didn't speak out over a number of decades. So what we're doing today with our Don't Wait campaign is saying to people quite simply, if you have a worry, it doesn't matter how small it is, phone the NSPCC helpline and you'll have an opportunity to speak at length with one of our trained counsellors. And we can provide you with advice and support. But if you have very clear information that a child is at risk of abuse, then we can help that child by contacting police, children's services, and making sure that support is going both to the child mm. and the family as well. But people, quite frankly, do not misuse services like Liz. this. Well, uh, what a good thing it is that this exists and that this has all come into the open and nobody wants to see anybody go through what, what we just watched before. But I think we do have to, as a society, be a little cautious about exactly what you were just saying there about about people going around being suspicious all the time of other people and you know for, for every victim of abuse there is somewhere there are many many victims of false accusation there are people who lose their jobs their livelihoods their reputation which is also devastating for mm. them so we're trying to tread this very delicate balance between saying we must have a door open for people to come forward and parents i think also need to be very cautious not to put ideas into very young children's heads that they didn't have before and that are unnecessary perhaps. Mm. For example, if a, a teacher picks a child up and puts them on their lap to console them, you don't want to say to your five or mm. six year old child, if he does that or she does that, that's inappropriate because that's something that, that's, as a society, we need to be very careful of that. And do you know what, the other day I took a photograph uh, when I was at the swimming pool and I completely forgot that you're not meant to do that these yes. days. Yes. But it was an exciting time, it's the first time we've been swimming with a little one and I just took a picture and this guy came over and said, can you stop doing that? And I was yeah. like, oh God, I'm so sorry. John, Liz, for everyone out of time, sorry about that. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Mm. Thanks. Interesting.